Welcome to my unboxing of the new GPS Extra Remote by Insta360. You see the specs on the left side and I only concentrate here on the main parts, which is that they added a third GPS system, the Russian GLONASS. That adds very comfortable to the speed up getting a GPS data link and makes it more accurate. It uses BT5, the power output level was raised to 2 mW and that adds to the usage distance which is now 20 meters. Um, it's waterproof by IPX8, so up to 5 meter. Let's see what we have in the box. We have the obligate short manual, we have two bands, one wristband and one universal band, a power cord and the remote itself. As you may have noticed, the battery capacity of the GPS Smart Remote is only half of that of the old Smart Remote, but it does not lose power if switched off, so that's really a plus. Um, by the dimensions, it's a little bit wider but shorter. Um, the new Extra Remote is really handy, if you ask me. So now you see the, the specs of both compared. Um, yeah, also the compatible devices. What's also a big plus compared to the smart remote is that you can not only pair one camera to the remote but up to four and that's a really nice feature. Now let me show how to pair the devices. You switch on the remote and your camera and the remote is on the settings mode at the start and if you hit the shutter button you enter um, the menu and you have a sub-menu with pair new, language, reset and version. So and if you hit pair new, the remote goes into a connection mode. And that's what I'm doing. And now you go to the X3, pull down the menu, go to the remote option and the camera searches for the device and should find it really quick. Um, you select it and voila, we are connected. Camera and action remote are now connected. On the camera you can now select to disconnect or delete the pairing, but we don't want that, we want to control the camera. By again calling the settings menu and again entering the pair new, I can connect my One RS, which I had connected to the remote before. So I'm now connected to, camera, to two cameras and to show you that, the moment I press the power button, if they are synced, I can switch off and on the displays and I can also switch the modes. And the modes cycle from photo, video, time shift to loop recording. If they are synced, they enter the mode synchronously and if not synced, they just jump one further on. To speed up the selection you can press the shutter button to enter it, but keep in mind each camera has its own delay on it and each camera has its own delay if you take an image or start a video. That's it folks. Really nice new piece of hardware.